don't like lighting my own cigarette. At least when someone else does it for me, they get some of the blame too. There isn't much talk in the joint tonight. Just the usual suspects. Me, myself, and I. We are drinking a leftover mojito freshened with some chili powder and ginger. The resulting concoction is far better than anything I usually get at the mama shelter. I like the bartender better here anyway. I can definitely do this until summer. I don't understand those who are freaking out. They say we are stuck with each other. I say we are stuck with ourselves. And oh, what a comfort that is. Excuse me, what are you doing in my cafe? It was a bar last night. The usual? Yes, ma'am. Pause. That's what I've been in. A single frame of action caught in midair. Around me are floating cups. Grad school, relocation, family, passions, job, career. My limbs are extended to catch them all after someone clicks play. Knowing very well something's gonna break. Be it a body part or a cup. Inertia scares me. It isn't something that professional gymnasts are used to. The average human's hang time is 0.53 seconds. I've been hanging for one month. I've never get this much hang time, especially when the only thing I'm thinking about is how I'll catch all these cups. Ow, fuck! You should have let it drop. <laughs> what? I mean, what did you expect trying to catch a cup of hot coffee? Well, I've had a productive morning. I ordered some new work shirts. I filed for unemployment. And talked to mom and dad. Oh. How are they doing? Oh, you know, still stuck on a cruise ship in Japan. Waiting to hear from you. I'll just call them once Alice gets back. Right. Okay. Hey, come on. You know Alice. She'll turn up. Wait for my hair appointment. I do. Where did my life go? I miss my beach. I miss people. I miss myself. Morning, Grandpa. Morning, Molly. Morning, fascist. How's the kingdom doing? Fascists don't have kingdoms. You're thinking of queens. Oh, pardon me, my queen. I'm just a dumb serf in my gulag. How did you major in politics? Sorry I'm not the prodigal one in this family, hey, Hera. Hey, 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 okay. Relax. I made you some coffee. Oh, so you do have a soul. Uh, but you told me you'd help me with the cafe after your quarantine and you keep bringing random people here. Okay, if you don't want me sneaking out, I'll just invite her over. Fucking try it. I'm hitting her up right now. <coughs> you fucking animal! That's why mom and dad don't want you helping with the business. No wonder. What am I stepping in? What am I stepping in, Sawyer? Maybe if you let me piss inside, I won't have to piss in the dirt. Well, maybe if you weren't swapping saliva with everyone on the street, I would let you in the house. Bye, camper. Bye, Molly.
The dichotomy between humans and nature and humans and cities is become the dichotomy between humans and nature and humans in society is becoming all the more drastic, apparent, severe, whatever. Humans depend we humans have thought that we depend on urban structures and societal norms for progress, right? Wrong. What we forgot is that we built all of this in tandem with nature. Sorry, there's a bug on the, on the lens. Listen, during all the world's worst catastrophes, from wars to pandemics, humans have always found refuge away from cities. Heck, we even found it away from our homes. Look, the stock market's crashing, oil's tanking, even frickin' Disneyland is closed. And what's happening? People are getting sick. People are getting depressed. People are dying. Now is not the time to burrow inside of our homes. It's actually the time to get in tune with nature. I mean, look at what's happened to me. I've gotten exiled from my own house. And it's not because I don't believe what's happening isn't true. I just don't think when times get tough, it's just the time to start following some blind power. Cause that's how fascism starts, kids. We have to rely on ourselves and the risks we take should be our own, including the consequences. Hi, this is Hera calling you back about the policy inquiry I had. We have four permanent employees who are also furloughed and right before we let go of one person who was just starting with us, Right, right. So she was asking if she was still insured under the policy. She worked a day over the, the, um, I'm gonna have to call you back. Are you serious right now, Sawyer? Welcome to the great outdoors. What? We're outside. Oh, and by the way, Hera, this is the Nicole I've been telling you about. What? You know, the girl I've been exchanging saliva with? Exclusively? In how many more ways are you going to prove to me that you are an utter child? A child would have perished from the elements by now. I am a survivor. I've been housing you, I've been feeding you, and you still decide to swap spit. I like to look in the mirror and pretend I'm acting in an old film. The looks of betrayal, gasps of surprise, desperately lighting a cigarette in a fit of rage. Crying? Not quite. I'll work on it. People consider it cheesy behavior, but to me, this Hollywood melodrama seems more genuine than anyone off screen. I want to elevate myself with a look of disdain at the street below. I want to enter a room and be impossible to ignore. I want everyone else to see my emotions as vividly as I feel them. I want people to feel like they know me, yet see me as an utter mystery. Because everyone knows a mystery is far more interesting than any naked truth. Only then you are invincible. Like Ingrid Bergman or Humphrey Bogart, nothing can break you. You can overcome heartbreak and loss with a stiff drink and a smolder. You feel everything, but you don't take it in. You can't take it in. You can. I'm worried about her, Sawyer. Look, everyone deals with things in their own ways. And I mean, she's an actress anyways. I agree, but doesn't mean you need to play into her fantasies. Says the one who built a cardboard coffee shop. Look, I'm just trying to stay safe. I know who I am, and I'm just making my environment adapt to me, not the other way around. <laughs> you got that from The Departed. Shut up. I miss my sister, I miss you, and you're fucking this up on purpose. Not only because you don't want to help me with the shop, but because- No, I miss her too. I, I just can't be in there right now. No, mom and dad can't be here right now. And I've got to call the insurance back. I think I'm gonna take off. For real? Yeah, my lift's still outside. 
You know, last time you weren't here for your family, you really regretted it. Surviving on your own's easy for you, but you didn't move back here to be on your own. <laughs> they still run Lyft? Where are you going? I'm just gonna help out Sawyer with his pad. Where's your mask? Can't smoke with a mask. Then don't smoke. Help me set up. Uh huh. Your place looks like shit. Is that so? I think you need a canopy, pillows, and blankets to lay under. We could put it right over here if you want to make it your living room. Cool. I saw you yesterday. My oh, I say. This is sick. Definitely feels more like home. But don't you know, brother? You gotta make your environment adapt to you, not the other way around. Would you like a banana? Sure. Hey, sis. <laughs> I thought Molly didn't know that handshake. And I also thought she didn't like bananas. She didn't. She also didn't like joggers, flip-flops, orange juice, and caps. And Alice didn't like staying home alone. Is that why she left? It was just you and her, right? After mom and dad left? And then the pandemic? And then... The lockdown? Did she leave you alone at the house? Alice, at some point you have to come back. It just doesn't make sense. You were invincible. People like that don't die. like that can't die.
could you leave me alone? How could you die? I didn't go to sleep, so consider it an extension of my night. I'm not crazy, Hera. I know Molly's dead. I was alone with her. I had to talk to the police. I had to talk to the coroner. I had to sleep in this house alone. Sawyer and I came as soon as we could, and Mom and Dad were on vacation. We're stuck on a cruise ship, quarantined in a pandemic. They weren't here. Here or not, we all lost Molly. And we thought we lost you too. I just, I just wanted to understand how she could. Someone's calling. It's Sawyer. Good morning. Can I have some toast? No. Morning, camper. For fuck's sake, Kara. I'm starving out here. Good morning, Molly. It's Alex. Oh. You can have toast if you help me with the disaster loan application. That sounds like a quid pro quo. That's how you help family. Fine. Step into my new office? Go ahead. I think I need to drink at one point. I'll grab my laptop.